So yeah, I finally played Into the Radius, a game set in um, Russia where you have to navigate a hazardous exclusion zone with many hostile anomalies and entities. Shouldn't be too difficult for me though, as I frequently deal with hostile entities like this one right here. Anyways, let's get right into my experience as a survivor of the Radius's grasp. So, as you do with any game, I start at the tutorial. There's a polygonal person looking outside, so I shatter them with my bare hands. Only 5 seconds in and I've taken a life, so I wash my hands of the crime. The tutorial teaches me how my body works again, as well as how to shoot and use my backpack. Then a voice starts talking to me about something important when I punch this white statue, but I'm a bit preoccupied with some loose moves. In no time at all, I'm at my home base. I fill some PM mags with bullets, grab a flashlight, and agree to a mission, and then I head out into the radius. The first mission asks me to recover a bracelet from a small compound nearby. In the distance, I spot a shadowy figure, but as you'll soon find out, every enemy in this game is a shadowy figure, so I'll call it a fragment because that's what they're actually called. I get up close to make sure I don't miss, and I pull the trigger. Nothing happens, and I realize it's because I've left the safety on who let me even use a firearm. I turn it off, and I take the fragment and his buddy out with some expert precision. I'm not even joking this time. I really like the addition of the safety though, the gunplay in this game as a whole is really good, and I've only used one gun. I find some ciggies which I smoke to relieve stress, which isn't actually a mechanic in this game, but I also find the bracelet. It's actually a watch, but I don't think English is the first language of the devs, so bracelet it is. I look around for some more stuff, finding a single shotgun shell, and then I head home. When I get there, it appears someone has broken in, but instead of taking anything, they've left me food, guns, medicine, artifacts, a guitar, a whole shotgun, and approximately 1 billion tooltips. I've already figured out how to use everything though, so I ignore them and play some Weezer on the guitar. I return the bracelet and pocket $1,500 for my troubles. I get my first security level, and so I do a training exercise with throwing knives, finding anomalies, and cleaning weapons, it's all very interesting. I accept another mission, this time to get a film reel from a larger compound in the radius, but still pretty close to the one I was already at. The first thing I do is climb up this watchtower and struggle to open a crate, but when I get it open there's a PM, magazines and a couple candy bars, I'm not sure what aesthetic they were going for here. I continue towards my destination where this anomaly lasers me, and removes more than half of my health, so I have to use one of my stims. I find a flare, deal with a fragment, and enter a gunfight with a new enemy called a Mimic, which takes the form of authoritative figures and uses a belt, I mean firearms, to try and take you out. It hits me, but I kill it, as it makes a screaming sound. I enter a house and loot it, well, there is also creepy noises around me, and a goopy anomaly just kind of in the living room. It drops a blue crystal, which is a breaking bad moment, and then I book it out of there. It's starting to become afternoon when I get to, you know, the objective, and there's a fragment out front waiting to greet me. Fortunately, it's the only one I can see, so I go into the building and grab the film reel and everything else I can find that's useful. There's also some weird grass that damages me when I try to leave, which is annoying, and then another fragment starts lumbering towards me so I leave. I then start getting shot at so I duck behind a rock, but I can't see anything. I keep on running to the way out and encounter this spider. I'm quite good at killing them as long as I have bug spray and tissue paper, but all I've got is a sawn off shotgun, so we're going to have to make do. It jumps at me twice and I miss it both times, so I pull out my trusty PM and kill it.
the gunshot attracts yet another two fragments which I completely obliterate, but then I get shot at some more so I run to the exit with only one health. I hand in the film reel and sell all my valuables and pocket a total of $2700. With it I buy two stim shots which are so expensive it reminds me of the American healthcare system and I also take a shower for the first time in presumably months. I use a toothbrush I found and some WD-40 to clean one of my 3PMs, but I have to buy a ramrod and tissue paper to clean the barrel. I then sort through my backpack and find out how the flare works, indoors of course. I pick some missions to do from a list of four and go to sleep. I wake up, eat some canned pineapple slices, buy a scouting scope and a pocket flashlight and then head out on another two missions. I have literally no idea what either of them are, but for the first one all I have to do is recover this tin apparently, which is just sitting in the middle of nowhere. It's near a raised bit of land, so I use this time to look for threats with my scout scope. I find a mimic having a stroll, but really nothing else, so I pull out my map to move into the second objective. I take the time to read the mission brief as well, and it seems to be talking about a goopy anomaly, a blue crystal, and the house that I visited last time. When I enter the mission building, I realize that yep, the funny blue crystal back at home was not in fact crystal meth, but the item I needed to hand in. So I walk back home, down but not out, and minus a flare because I decided to use one outside this time. I give in the mission items and get $950. I clean my other other PM and then check the missions. There's one labeled priority which will net me a large sum of money and a higher security clearance. But that's all for now, if you want me to turn this into a series let me know, I'm probably going to do it anyway, but as always support from you guys is a great motivator. Don't check your cupboard and I'll see you next time.